Hello, this is Mike Queen from WinCNC, and today I'm doing a short video on a center finding macro for circles. The first thing that I want to do is mill out some circles of different diameters. Uh, then I will take a 1 8 inch bit and bore a hole right down in the middle of each pocketed out circle. This will be where I will lower the probe tip down into to show that it is perfectly centered after running the macro. What I'm doing there now is a separate uh, circle for center finding. Now I'm drilling the hole down through it. It's a 1 8 inch hole. The probe stylus tips actually 0 0.078 and this hole is 0.125 so there will be some space around it. Actually about 20 thousandths gap all the way around the uh, stylus tip. But you can definitely tell, you should be able to definitely tell that it is uh, in the center of my circles. The next thing I want to do is pull up my code and change it just a little bit so that I temporarily disable the local zeros. Uh, I want to get uh, machine zero coordinates for the points that I'm going to get for the center. Uh, also, I have altered this in a later version because I found out that uh, it would not work correctly with a dual y-axis. So don't copy the code and expect it to work. It's very doubtful that it will. What I'm doing here is moving the probe tip into the circle that I want to find the center of. I could leave it sitting about the center, but I'd rather move it off center so that you can see that the probe's actually finding the center using the macro. And now, even though you can't see it, I'm lowering the stylus tip down into the hole that I bored when I pocketed out the circles. And it goes right down into the center of it. Uh, remember, the tip is 0 0.078 and the hole is 0.125. So it does leave about a 20 thousandths gap all the way around the uh, stylus tip. And now I've lowered down into this other deeper pocket that I created inside that original circle and I'm finding the center on it. And now again I will lower down into that eighth inch hole in the middle.
on the last couple of holes, I decided to use my cell phone camera to give an extra little angle on the centering. Uh, I apologize for the shakiness, but you can see much better and much clearer that the probe tip is actually going down into that center hole. This hole is only a quarter of an inch in diameter that I'm moving to now. I'm going to go ahead and use my cell phone camera again. Again, I apologize for the shakiness of it. I'm hand holding it. And now I'll lower down into that hole again. It's a little harder to see on this one, but I thought I'd put it in there anyway into the video. The center circle routine definitely works. Thank you.